very briefly to look at uh, the idea of a Bendix gear, a method of getting the, uh, the the mesh of the starter motor into or away from the crankshaft. Because obviously once the starter motor starts and the crankshaft starts spinning, you don't really want the sudden speed of the crankshaft being fed back into the motor. This is a Bendix gear. It's come off uh, a little RS125 typical in small capacity engines and scooters. These teeth here mesh with the, the drive pinion of the starter motor. These teeth are set up to engage a gear which is an intermediary gear between here and the, and the crankshaft. Once the starter motor turns, and this is stationary, as it turns it forces these teeth out on a one-way clutch in here and on a Bendix gear which is like this here throws it into mesh with a gear which would sit here. Once the engine turns, so that's when this side is moving faster than that side, once this side starts to move faster, rotate in that direction again faster because of the crankshaft moving, because the engine's now running, it throws it back down the Bendix gear. Same is true here. This is from the pre-engaged starter motor. You can see and there's the Bendix gear. So when the starter motor starts, it helps to throw this into contact with the flywheel. Although with a pre-engaged starter motor, it's not just relying on that. It's also relying on a selector fork, or an engagement fork, which sits in here and pushes it.